it's me Leone. I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who watched my last video about how anxiety feels. It was a pretty emotional video and I'm just really really grateful and thankful to everyone who left a comment and shared their story and experience with anxiety and it just brought a small smile to my face knowing that I made something that was relatable to many of you so yeah thank you guys so much for that for this video i'm going to be showing you some ways that i deal with anxiety on a day-to-day -day basis and you know there is no cure so to speak but it's just about trying to minimize and calm that anxious energy these are just some of the things that i do maybe they'll work for you too fingers crossed and let's get to it being productive is a great way to get your mind off the anxious thoughts and energy and put it into something productive like for example cleaning your room for me my space and the environment that I'm in is reflective of how I'm feeling so if my room is messy I generally feel like messy and that my thoughts are very messy as well so cleaning um, is a great way to put your energy into something that will actually help improve your mood. You can also do something like learn a new skill. And there's so many things in this world that you can do and learn every day. Learning is a great way to stay productive and keep your mind, you know, focused on something other than how anxious you are. It doesn't have to be anything too major as long as you feel like you're actually gaining something from doing it. Going for a short walk is also a great way to get your mind off things and being out in the sun is so good for your health. You gotta get that vitamin D into ya. Um, I find that when you're, you know, kind of stuck in your room for the whole day or stuck indoors, your mood can deplete pretty fast. Natural elements exist to help us be happy. If you're feeling like you're just got so much on your plate and you can't focus on anything and you're getting anxious about it, just go for like a short five to 10 minute walk, be out in the sun, clear your mind and afterwards you'll feel like you're ready to take on the day. I mean any exercise in general is really great for getting your body moving and to you know use that energy elsewhere into something that actually makes you healthier. Next is one of my personal favorites and that is to listen to feel good music. Feel good music is different for everyone. It doesn't necessarily have to be all upbeat and all sunshine and rainbows and ponies. It can be a genre of music that really inspires and motivates you. So yeah, create a playlist of songs that make you happy and whenever you're feeling anxious, feeling down, feeling like you can't really go on, just put on your headphones and listen to that playlist. Better yet, just blast it on your speakers and dance around like a hooligan. In some instances, it's really hard to kind of calm and hone in that anxious energy. What helps me is making myself a cup of tea. If you find that you have a lot of anxious energy, I'd stay away from like caffeinated drinks and maybe go for something like a floral tea. Lavender and rosemary, they're very good scents for people who have a lot of anxiousness, nervousness and feel you know a lot of tension because they help to calm you down. So if you can find yourself some lavender, rosemary or something floral kind of tea to help calm your nerves, I definitely suggest that. Once you make your tea, just sit down, relax, reflect, calm down your nerves and just focus on what really matters. And that leads me to the next one. For me, there is nothing as therapeutic as writing in my journal. You know, I have a lot of thoughts in my mind every day. You know, often my thoughts get the better of me and I start overthinking, overanalyzing everything and it makes me super, super anxious. But a good way and what's been really therapeutic for me throughout my entire life has been to write. Sometimes when you overthink, you have so many thoughts that are swirling in your mind and it's really hard to kind of structure those thoughts. So that's where writing comes in. Writing in a journal is really helpful because you can 
kind of write everything that's on your mind and look at it, reread it, strategize, think about you know what it is that's actually making you feel this way, whether it's justified or whether you're just kind of overreacting and assuming the worst in things. Writing your thoughts and journaling your thoughts is kind of like purging yourself of all the negative emotions. And once you've actually written down how you feel, I find it's really helpful at the end just to write a few things that you're grateful and thankful for in your life even if it's the smallest thing like the way something tastes in your mouth or like a song or like a lyric anything there is always something in life to be grateful for Another great way to minimize your anxiety is to actually talk to someone. It's so helpful, you know, sometimes we're just so stuck and consumed in our own mind and it's just so self-imposing and just it's all about, you know, yourself. Sometimes just letting it all out and talking about it to someone is like liberating. Pick up the phone, call a friend. You can email someone, text someone. You can even talk to strangers online. But be careful though, because stranger danger. And if you feel like you're ready to take that next step and actually seek help, Seeing a psychologist is actually really beneficial to actually have someone who you don't know so well wanting to help you become a better you and to hone in your anxiety and to live a life where you're not so consumed by yourself. Sometimes we can get so caught up in our own minds that we actually forget to take care of our bodies. And this is where I think it's really important to set aside some time to actually pamper yourself. So things like taking a bath or putting on a face mask or rubbing some lotion into your skin. Those are some really great ways to start taking care of yourself. And this doesn't only go for girls. I think guys can definitely enjoy a little pamper session too. So grab a face mask, light a candle, grab your favorite book to read and just give yourself 30 to 50 minutes just to really take care of yourself. Even something simple like splashing some water on your face can really go a long way to freshen you up and get you out of that anxious state. <music> Lastly, practicing mindfulness. Now this is something that my psychologist suggested for me to do is to practice mindfulness and I can definitely see its benefits especially because I struggle at night to fall asleep because my mind is just you know on overdrive and practicing mindfulness is a great way to just stop focusing on your thoughts and start focusing in the present moment things like what can you taste in your mouth like what can you hear what can you feel but it definitely does take a lot of practice to be mindful and it doesn't happen, you know, overnight. And if you're stubborn like me, it can take you a while. It's still taking me a while. But I definitely think that it is helpful and beneficial to just stop, you know, focusing on your crazy thoughts and just be mindful. So those are my eight ways and how I kind of reduce the anxiety in my day to day life. It's not something that just goes away instantaneously. Some people are way better at fighting their anxious energy than most people are and you know it's all a mind game i mean it's hard but just small little things like that can really change your mindset and make you more positive and be more positive about the outcome of life so yeah i would love to hear how you guys if you have anxiety how you guys deal with it if you have any tips or tricks because i would also love to know please feel free to leave them in the comments anyway i hope you guys are having a lovely day wherever you are you are in control of your life you are in control of your own destiny so if you're feeling really shit right now get up go for a walk do something that will make you feel better because you deserve it Let's end this video as we always do by saying Tuck for Martin. Sing a favorite song and the world may sing.